Africa, a place where opportunities and possibilities abound. It is home to many of the world's fastest growing economies and is developing rapidly. But Africa also has many challenges, not least of which is climate change. Extreme weather events are increasing, making this one of the most at-risk regions in the world. Like elsewhere, African countries are incorporating climate change into strategies and plans in order to help manage these impacts. But many decision makers struggle to access relevant climate information. Investment in usable and useful climate information provides an important way to enable Africa's aspirations for more effective disaster risk management, climate change adaptation, and climate smart development. This is where the Future Climate for Africa program has been at work and making an impact. Future Climate for Africa, or FCFA, is a research and development program that has been enhancing scientific knowledge and prediction of African climate for the past five years. FCFA is improving scientific understanding of how Africa's climate is changing, ensuring that decision makers are able to incorporate relevant climate information when making key decisions, and finding new scientific research while helping grow future generations of African scientists. FCFA consists of five research teams with more than 200 researchers. One of these teams is Impala, which has focused on enhancing modeling and understanding of Africa's climate through improved simulations of key processes in a global climate model at the UK Met office. Impala has also developed the first Pan-African climate model called CP4 Africa. The model can represent local climate processes such as thunderstorms and provide new information at a finer scale than previously possible. FCFA scientists have used CP4 Africa together with other existing climate models to provide improved climate information to inform decision-making in a range of sectors. In West Africa, extreme rainfall variability has led to devastating droughts and floods. EMA 2050 is addressing how the West Africa regional monsoon has and will change in future decades and how climate change is driving more frequent, intense storms in the Sahel region. Future projections indicate the need to plan for more localized flooding, while agriculture will need to be able to cope with a drier environment. Collaborations between scientists and national and city decision makers has helped develop tools to support flood resilient planning in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. While in the agricultural sector of Senegal, EMA 2050 has employed a range of participatory approaches to support the inclusive dialogue required to enable adaptation, using a range of novel techniques like theater forum and participatory modeling. In East Africa, floods and droughts are a constant threat to livelihoods and the region's economies. High Crystal has created a new understanding of how climate will change here and is working with decision makers to address the region's main priorities. In urban areas, High Crystal has helped to improve management and infrastructure planning for urban water and sanitation systems to improve climate resilience, especially to floods that are expected to increase. High Crystal has also supported rural adaptation and climate smart agriculture decisions through direct community and government engagement and the development of a climate database for African policymakers which informs farming communities of the most valuable crops and adaptation options available. In Malawi and Tanzania, predicting the climate is difficult due to their position between the major climate systems of Southern and Eastern Africa. This is why Umfula has adopted an approach that factors in a range of possible future outcomes and uncertainties. Umfula uses a transdisciplinary approach to enhance collaboration with key government agencies to develop climate information relevant for decision-making and long-term planning. For example, Umfula collaborated with High Crystal to analyze risks 
and adaptation options for tea plantations in Malawi and Kenya, where knowing the future climate is vital for the sustainability of long-lived tea crops. Another focus has been to project future lake levels and outflows for the Shira River Basin in Malawi and future river flows for the Rufiji River in Tanzania. This has provided tools to guide decision-making in order to balance future water demand from hydropower, irrigation, domestic water use, and the environment under a range of possible climate scenarios. In Southern Africa, Fractal partnered with nine cities, which are hotspots of rapid social, economic, and environmental change. Fractal helped improve understanding of how decisions are made and how climate information can best support city decision-making for climate resilient development. A range of novel initiatives have included learning labs where stakeholders co-explored burning issues in their city and embedded researchers where local researchers were placed in city councils. This helped build trust and relationships to bridge the divide between science and policy. Both decision makers and researchers in the region have become better equipped to integrate climate information into the complex decisions for African cities. FCFA has shown how climate research and collaboration across disciplines, countries, and even continents can lead to relevant, useful, and accessible climate information while also building the capacity of African decision makers to access and use this information. FCFA's work has contributed to a number of national, local, and city-level policies, plans, and climate change strategies. Upscaling work such as FCFA's will help increase Africa's climate resilience, which will be much needed in the decades to come.